for this week's 90 seconds around the globe. Sorry about that, Bill. Some from flying in hot there. So this week we've got a financial aid a smorgasbord of information. And uh, Bill has been kind enough to join us to talk about uh, four different areas. So we're going to start, Bill. What should students be thinking about in terms of FAFSA this time of year? Okay. Well, uh, the, the, the basics are that, uh, that we need to get taxes filed, and then a couple weeks after that happens, then you need to file your FAFSA. You need to go to www.fafsa.ed.gov, and you go out there, plug in your information, download your taxes, and, uh, and that's largely it. It's really smooth this time. Uh, actually, last year they started allowing import from the IRS, so it'll be nice and easy. If you have other questions, check your email, and we can also uh, help you out individually. Excellent. Uh, being week 10 of the quarter, we're also sending out cost budgets, mm -hmm. book voucher time, ordering books. What uh, information should students be watching for with that? Okay. Uh, we're actually mailing cost budgets today. Uh, so as you watch this, they may already be in your mailbox. So um, check that out. See if you have a payment due. If you're fully funded, then you'll actually get, be getting a book voucher at the end of next week, uh, right before uh, finals week hits. Uh, the bookstore actually will open on the 18th. And if you need to make a payment in order to get your book voucher, just go ahead and, and get that in. The other thing is, if you need to modify that payment, where perhaps you don't need as much as the voucher indicates, um, then or we can change your, the book allocation, whatever we need to do to tweak things, let, just let us know. Okay. So watch for your uh, cost budgets in the mail. If you have any questions about them, be sure to follow up with financial aid directly. Um, that's a wrap on this week's Week 10, 90 Seconds Around the Globe. Have a great day.